I'm here with Dan Bradford from Medtronic, and you are, this is Point Claire, am I right? Yes. It's Point Claire. So we're in Point Claire, and there have been 10 gardens planted here to help the West Island Mission with their initiative to provide free, fresh food to the community. So how did this start? So when we reached out to the West Island Mission, Suzanne specifically, to find out some of their programs and initiatives that needed support on, uh, we found out that they were looking for uh, somebody, somebody to support their FRESH program. So for us, it seemed very much aligned to what we were doing because we could use some of our uh, property here to grow fresh produce for the local community. And we could build on this uh, program to do it over and over again each and every year and hopefully add more boxes in the future. Connecting you with the community with the West Island Blogs event beyond the headlines. We are here with Suzanne Scarrow from the West Island Mission and we have some new initiatives coming up. We have backpack for the August but we are really working right now on a very special project that you've been working on most of the summer fresh produce to your customers absolutely so our fresh campaign we started back in April with local uh, organizations that have been you guys have seen planting urban gardens which is fantastic but Wednesday is also our shopping day with our recipients so this is also the day that we pick up from Wasa Montreal. so you can see all through here that this is all of the fresh that our recipients are going to receive today and it's actually extremely fruitful pardon the pun but it is beautiful today so we're super thankful we want to make sure that our clients are receiving a healthier fresher product year-round and the way you have approached in the, la in the last year or so, you've changed the way you deliver food. You always deliver to your shut-ins, but we decided about a year and a half ago that we would like to have our clients shop similar to some of the downtown food banks. So um, our recipients come in, they, re they work with a volunteer, they receive a cart, they drive through just like you would see at any other grocery store. They choose based on our system. I think the system is an important thing to discuss. When you're qualified and you're vetted when you come to the mission and you have to, you're, you're a family of four, you're a green. You're a family of one, you're a blue. So you're allowed to take one item of the mac and cheese and three items if you have a bigger family. Absolutely, so it's, it's per family. Um, it's based on per family and, and how many people are in that family. So they come through, they shop, they pick up all their fresh, including their milk and eggs, and, uh, and then they, they head back home. Okay, so we have here, oh, I wanted to show you this beautiful bag of lettuce that was harvest, harvested at a Medtronic this yeah, so morning. Yesterday, well, yesterday we, we harvested this, but this is, uh, for the past month, our, our recipients have each been receiving one, if not two, bags of lettuce um, from the harvest from our Medtronic project, so that's absolutely fantastic. We so it's Point it Claire based, it's so organic, yeah. it's, it's right here, it's very grown local and organic and free for these people. And free, so it's, uh, this, is, this is just good stuff. Thank you, and if you wanted to get involved, you too can grow a row in your garden, or you can get involved by donating to the West Island Mission? Absolutely, you can donate online, or if you're in the grocery store, pick up an extra bag of lettuce, drop it off. We're at 219 La Brosse, and you can do drop-offs Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, between 1 and 4 p.m. And I would uh, challenge any other um, organizations in the community who are looking to uh, have an impact to reach out to our Urban Seedling, to reach out to the West Island Mission, and try to do something similar. This is fantastic.